This is the second of our proofs of the linear equations of motion. We're going to try and figure out what the displacement formula, how to derive it. Uh, the formula is s is equal to ut plus a half at squared. The letters stand for s is your displacement, u is your starting or initial speed, t is time, a is acceleration. In order for this proof to work, we have to assume that the object is moving at a constant velocity. We start off by saying that the average velocity, if we start at a speed of uh, u meters per second and we get up to a speed of v meters per second, to get the average of those two, we just add them together so it will be u plus v divided by 2. Okay. The next thing we should remember from junior cert, uh, from what would have probably been described as your dad silly triangle or displacement over speed by time triangle, is that the displacement that an object will cover will be the average velocity multiplied by the time. We instead of writing all the words are going to start to substitute in letters to shorten uh, things down. Our average velocity we found earlier was u plus v divided by 2. Again the u is your starting velocity, v is your final velocity. We multiply that by the time and instead of writing displacement we're just going to use the letter s. We then remember from our first equation of motion that instead of having the letter v, we can substitute in u plus at. So the top part of our fraction will become u plus, instead of the v, we're going to have u plus at, still divided by 2, and it's still all multiplied by the time. Our next step is to tidy up what is inside the brackets. So that will give us 2u We still have the at on the top of the uh, fraction and we still have that divided by 2 and still all multiplied by the time we then multiply the t that's outside of the brackets with everything that's on the top of the fraction. So 2u multiplied by t is 2ut plus at multiplied by t is at squared. And that's still all divided by 2. One small point that sometimes students forget is that in front of the at squared, even though it's not wrote in, there is a number 1 in front of that, and we'll need that in a second. We then are going to finally divide the 2 into the numbers and uh, letters that are up on the top. So the first thing that we can do is that the 2 on the bottom of our fraction will cancel with the 2 that's in front of the ut, so that'll give us just ut. The 1 divided by 2 will end up giving us half, and we're left with the two letters beside it, which are a and t squared. And that is the proof finished. So again, s stands for displacement, u is your starting speed, t is the time, a is the acceleration. Done.